Oh, that tub is great, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like if I was in Wakanda. Colonel James Rhodes, a.k.a. War Machine, is fighting to find a great home in San Antonio while recovering from injuries. After finally getting into the starting lineup of the Avengers, Rhodes was injured and placed on the disabled list. I'm Colonel Rhodes, uh, a.k.a. War Machine, Tony Stark's best friend, supposedly. I had a little friendly fire incident uh, a couple of movies ago. I, lo I love San Antonio. San Antonio is pretty awesome. Uh, I like the Alamo. Uh, the Spurs. The Spurs is pretty cool. Also, the tacos. The, the burritos, actually. Are they burritos or tacos? Colonel Rhodes' second cousin Mike is in town to help him with his home search. Hey, my name is Mike. Um, I'm just here hanging out with War Machine. I'm his second cousin, twice removed. I don't, I don't really know the guy. Uh, but I was just hoping that I'd be able to meet Black Panther, to be honest with you. Wakanda. Um, yeah. Yeah, I'm tired of this whole Black Panther thing. Um, I'm the first Black Avenger. Um, man, I didn't get invited to Wakanda. I mean, what's up with that? Um, it's, it's Black Panther this, Black Panther that. But what about War Machine? First on the list is a tastefully renovated home with all the bells and whistles, where they met their experienced agent, Tim Macy. Yeah, my name's uh, Tim Macy. I'm a real estate agent. Uh, I actually just got my license. They came in the office and asked if anybody wanted to find James Rhodes, AKA War Machine, a house. And nobody knew who the heck he was. Uh, I, don't, I don't think people know who War Machine is. House number one is a beautiful custom renovation done by a local San Antonio designer. It has high ceilings, wide hallways, and an open living area leaving plenty of room for damaged egos, actor changes, and regrets of solo movies that never made it into production. The next house is a little less move-in ready. So now we're at house number two, and it's in the middle of renovation, so if War Machine likes it, he can kind of put his finishing touches on it as it goes. House number two is a blank canvas that War Machine can restart his superhero career. The property is underdeveloped, much like his character, but it would also give him a chance to be original, as he would have some input on the design. Having a chance to be original and have a say in anything would be a great change for Rhodes. House number three is the most expensive and comes with a pool, which would be great for hosting War Machine fan club events. A spacious interior in an open kitchen with plenty of room to cook food with his laser hands. So I thought this house may be perfect for you, War Machine, just because you have this great outdoor space where you can just take off if you need to go on a mission, you know, straight ahead, and then you come back down after you save the world, enjoy a nice party, little, you know, little pool action, and uh, you know, if, if something Cheeky lounge. Cheeky lounge. Yeah. If something happens again, you just take right back off. Out of the pool. Out of the pool? Yeah. I mean, you know? it's waterproof, so yeah. your War it's Machine. It's waterproof, right? Right? No. No? It's not waterproof? No. Oh. Iron Man's waterproof. The vibranium on Panthers. I mean, that's... That's very waterproof. Yeah, that's, that's like everything. Proof. Yeah, I mean, that's waterproof. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I really like this house. Um, I think War Machine deserves this house. Um, the pool is awesome. Uh, I think he's really... I'm really going to enjoy that. Wow, what about the, the price issue? Is it a price issue? Price? Nah. There's no budget. War Machine? Yes? This is David from Stark Industries. Yes? Great news. Well, kind of great news. Um... We haven't approved a budget yet. But uh, Tony just bought a Bugatti on Instagram. I just saw it. I, I know. And some of those funds for your house went to... The this is this is not... This is, this is disrespectful to me, man. Colonel Rhodes has a tough choice ahead of him as he picks which home is right for him. Yeah, I went with house number three. I loved it. It was... I love the pool. The pool is going to be my spot. I can't wait. The kitchen is beautiful. Probably not going to use it, though. Unfortunately, War Machine was not able to obtain funding for any of the houses and is still living on base. He is enjoying the area and looking forward to getting some screen time, possibly as an extra, and maybe the opportunity to get his life crushed by Thanos in the next Avengers movie. Join us on the next episode of House Finders, where we'll help a real hero like Thor find their next home. This is 
is just a fantastic place to have meals. Yeah. You know, you could um, you could make salami here. You know, salami. or um, or bruschetta. You know, I don't know if you're a bruschetta guy, but uh, bruschetta is fantastic. Um, maybe a cheese platter. You know, sounds like Tony Stark's. Yeah, yeah, it's it's, uh, it's great. Great place for a cheese platter. Do you like cheese platters? I love cheese. Yeah, yeah. So Wisconsin cheese. Wakandan cheese. Wakandan cheese. You know, goat cheese. Goat cheese. Sheep cheese. Yeah. There's all sorts of cheeses. They're delicious. Mm. Shredded cheese, especially. Yeah, you shred it. Yeah. Melt it. Mmm. I love cheese. Mm -hmm. On tacos. Yeah, I mean, like, if you have like the power things, so you, you can. Dude, I just will be like all day, just like. Crazy. Yeah. 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 Interesting. Yeah.